this time. Come on. Please, please, come on. Hello and welcome to the next episode of Build the Back to the Future DeLorean. I'm finally here, finally back. Um, I don't know what happened with Eagle Moss. They just seem to have an off month. I think every uh, everyone's issues were delayed. I've just had the payment taken actually of the next set of issues. So um, if I do get the next set of issues within the next week, you might see um, a DeLorean video come up next week. But I don't know. It's probably going to be a fortnight because... I like to have a bit of a backlog, actually. Uh, it makes it easier to set the schedule. But anyway, we are back. The DeLorean is no longer stalled. We have new parts to look at. So let's get started by looking at what comes in issue 44. So here are the parts that come with issue 44, and it's the main body of the dashboard that we have here. I will say from the start that I'm not going to be covering any of this in um, leather. This isn't meant to be leather. This is a different material. But these two pieces here are meant to be covered in the same leather as the main part of the uh, the part that we covered in leather last time. Uh, the reason I'm not going to do it is because I'm going to find it too difficult. The leather cut that I got um, is too thick, really, for these parts. Um, and I don't want to try other pieces of leather that are thinner because it might not match. So I'd rather it match the dashboard than not match anything at all. But uh, yeah, technically these parts are meant to be leather. Um, but I'm not going to do that, and I'm sorry if that frustrates you, but I've just got to... You know, it's my model, <laughs> and I'm, I've come to terms with I'm not able to do that. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that looking... Uh, get that done well. It's not going to be able to look... It's not going to be looking very good if I do try to attempt it. So I'm just going to leave it. Um, I'm really happy with what we did, what I've done so far with the carpet and the leather. So uh, there's going to be so much going on on this dashboard anyway. Um, yeah, I've made my piece with it. And so that's why I'm not going to cover these parts in leather. So it is very simple, this um, section, probably one of the simplest that we've had with the DeLorean build. You just take this part here, which uh, is different from this part because this one's quite smooth. But this one has this little cutout part there. And you just flip it around and position it like that. So these two connecting parts go over the screw holes there. And you just screw them in with some FP screws, which also come in this issue. And there we go. That is what it looks like. Um, yeah, very easy to screw in as well, which is very nice. Um, and of course, these are going to hold lots of instruments and stuff like that, which we're going to explore over the next two videos. But that is the end of the 44 parts. Let's move on to what comes in issue 45. And here we have the parts for issue 45, a lot of the detailing for the dashboard that I was just talking about. And I know that a few of you are going to be wondering, yes, it is exactly the same for me. I do have the error printed on my speedometer and things like that. It doesn't say DMC, it says D. W C, which is incredibly frustrating. They just made it upside down, and there's no way around that. Um, and it is, as far as I know, absolutely everybody has that issue. So I do think a fix from Eagle Moss is going to come out, whether it's in the form of a sticker or something to put over it. I don't know, uh, but it is frustrating, but there's nothing we can do about it unless you want to attack it with pen and do it yourself. But it is tiny. As you can see, there's my fingernail it is tiny so i am going to leave it for now i hope there will be a fix for it maybe mike lane actually could do a fix or, or someone like that who has done third party parts uh, which are coming i have bought third party parts from mike lane and i will be reviewing them um, when they arrive but yeah so i have that error too which is frustrating but going back to the build we've got this very nice you know 88 miles an hour section here and it is always on 88 which is awesome. And then we have these black parts here, which I don't know what they do, 
but they do have a peg and two screw holes for their peg, two screw holes, and they just attach on there and you screw them in there like that, which I'm just going to do now. There we go, that's on there. It is very loose actually. I will need to tighten that up. In fact, let me just go and tighten it up. And here we go. Right, okay. So that piece is now on securely, and I really love the way this is molded. It's molded perfectly so that it matches the curve of this part of the dash, which I really, really like. That is gorgeous. Very nice indeed. And of course, then we've got the wire here to light up the 88 part. I didn't show that earlier. And uh, we're going to be attaching more LEDs now in the form of this panel part here. Lots of LEDs on here and two wires coming out of it. One with this um, connection, which uh, we haven't actually tested yet, and one with this little connection here. So what you'll need to do is very simply fold this around and place it into this section here like that. So it'll look like that. And it is in there like that. It's not secure in there by any means. It is just pushed in there. And then these wires will come out the bottom. And then we need to get the main part of the dashboard, part with this hole here, and we just feed both of the cables through the hole. So this black connector part first. In you go. Ooh, please don't break. And of course the little connector part there. Next. In you go. That's popped out of here, of course. Oh, lots of wires, lots of wires, lots of wires. But I did it. It's in there like that. Both wires are clear and free and come out the bottom. And then we just attach it with some FP screws into these two holes there. Nice and tight, lovely, all attached, brilliant. Now at this stage, this is where you push this part in. Part of me is really tempted not to do it, just in case we do get um, a replacement printout. It's gonna be quite easy to push in at any stage of the build, so no, I'm gonna leave that out. I'm gonna leave that out for now, um, because I really hope that someone will get one printed Actually, there might be a third party one, which uh, is a little clearer as well, because I did praise all the parts um, from the interior last time, but this one is a little unclear. Um, you know, it's got really nice attention to detail, but it is unclear because it is so small, so I can't really moan about it. But yeah, I'm going to leave that out, hoping that there's a fix for that. So um, if you've already pushed yours in, I don't know how easy it will be to come out because I haven't done it. But if you really want to, I guess you just stick something sharp in, not all the way, because you don't want to ruin the LEDs, and then just leave it out like that. So yeah, you could do that, I guess, but I'm going to leave this part uh, free for now. So it has no speedometer. It can go as fast as it likes, although there is a speedometer there. So that's that theory out the window. Um, that is the end of this video. Um, so we've got the startings of a dashboard. That looks really ugly. Um, I am sorry about that. But yeah, we've got the startings of the dashboard here. Really love that 88 clock. Um, this part will come into play later, I believe. Oh no, no, it comes into play now. I knew there was one part missing. Uh, you recognize this part. This is the part that keeps all the wires in place. Now we do need to separate the wires. This one with the black connector goes out the way. And this one with the white connector goes past this way. And you'll see that, oh, it's gone now. Where's it gone? There it is. You just pop that part in there and secure it with an AP screw. There we go. So I had to go off camera to do that, but as you can imagine, it is tiny and small to do. Yeah, so that part is separated from this wire. Um, yeah, and it went together really nicely. So this is now uh, the dashboard all finished at this stage, not including that bit. Um, more dashboard to come soon, so I hope you will join me for that. Sorry again for not being around two weeks ago. Uh, hopefully it'll be regular from now on. 
No more stalling for the DeLorean, please, Egomoss. That'd be great. So, uh, until next time then, guys, take care. Bye-bye.